November is Diabetic Eye Disease Month, and in Ask the Specialist, we have with us Dr. Rupa Wong, pediatric ophthalmologist at the Queen's Medical Center. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, let's start off with um, how diabetes does affect the eyes. So diabetes causes a lot of changes in the eyes. One thing that it does is it starts to cause really abnormal, fragile blood vessels to grow in the retina, and the retina is the camera film in the eye in the back. And there's a couple different stages. In the real early stages of diabetic, what we call retinopathy in the non-progressive form, these fragile blood vessels start to leak and they can cause swelling in the retina and small amounts of bleeding. In the more advanced stages, these blood vessels actually break and they can cause even further bleeding and even things like retinal detachments. And can it, can it eventually cause blindness then? It can. It's one of the leading causes of new cases of blindness in adults age 20 to 74. So it really affects a lot of people in Hawaii because we have about 70 to 100,000 people in Hawaii with diabetes. And a quarter of them are undiagnosed, so they don't even know they have diabetes. Wow, and what about with children and when they have diabetes? It's equally important for them to get eye exams, though the screening criteria is a little different for when they should get their eye exams versus adults. But they tend to have diabetes for a longer time, so mm -hmm. their complications and their visual prognosis can be even worse than with adults. So is that what it is, um, how long you have the diabetes and how much it progresses? Absolutely. It's, it's a combination of how long you have the diabetes as well as what kind of control you have over your blood sugars. So people that mm -hmm. have better control over their blood sugars, their daily blood sugars are kind of in a tighter range and their hemoglobin A1C level, that's the blood test that we use as a marker to see how well controlled their blood sugars have been over the past three months. People that have good control over those numbers tend to have less complications of diabetes. So that would be your biggest piece of advice is Absolutely. to control. To control the diabetes and really that it's so important for patients to understand that diabetic retina changes and eye changes can be completely asymptomatic. So they really should be going to see their ophthalmologist once a year and you know when recommended by their ophthalmologist. Have you ever had cases where you've actually, uh, they've come in because of their eye problems and then they realize they have di diabetes? Absolutely. I've had mm -hmm. people that just come in because they think they need a pair of glasses. And when I examine them, I see changes that are really characteristic, the swelling and the bleeding in the retina. And then you know, we do the additional tests and I send them to their internist to get tested for diabetes and that's what's happened. All right. Well, we have many more questions for you. If you can stick around and we'll, we'll bring you back in for the next half hour. Great. Thank you, Dr. Wong. Aloha, Betty. We're back with Dr. Rupa Wong, an ophthalmologist at Queens, and we're talking about diabetes and its impact on vision. Uh, thanks for being here this morning. It seems to me that uh, if one is first diagnosed with diabetes, you would think about all the other things except your vision. You'd think about uh, renal problems mm -hmm. and so forth. Is that often the case? That is, and I think a lot of people get very overwhelmed with the initial diagnosis of diabetes and they neglect their eyes, but it's really important that all of these patients get seen by their ophthalmologist right away because more than likely they've had the disease for quite a long time and they may be showing those manifestations. So. As, as you said, uh, then, then you can make recommendations based on exactly. that to the other members of the team. Exactly, because the eyes are really the window. We can really take a look and see how the blood vessels are forming and that's going to that's a direct view into how everything is in the rest of the body so what's affecting the retinas is really what's affecting the kidneys or the brain or the heart and you can't really get a view into the kidney the way you can with the in the eyes true enough um, now is there a treatment I mean there obviously is a treatment for diabetes would that treatment in and of itself help with the vision, help sustain the vision? It can. I think mostly important to know for a lot of patients is that 90% of the vision loss that's caused from diabetes is preventable. Um, one of the treatments, the first forms of treatment is laser treatment and that's applied to the retina, to the parts of the retina that aren't getting enough oxygen. But again, it's so important to try it, you know, the more successful treatment is when it's caught early. So, you know, if we get the patients in to see their eye doctors right away, and if they catch these signs of disease, they can do the treatment, the laser treatment when necessary, or retina surgery if it gets quite complicated. Are the symptoms the same in juveniles as, as in adults? It is. Um, you know, when you get very, very advanced diabetes, people will start to have blurry vision. It causes a progression in cataracts in either children or in adults faster than what they would normally develop. It can cause um, flashes or floaters if they have bleeding into the vitreous, the jelly of the eye, or it can cause a sudden loss of vision if they have retinal detachment. 
or it can be completely asymptomatic. And that's what, you know, it's really important to stress. People could have advanced diabetes in their eyes and not even know it. It sounds like you really do need to see a specialist because mm -hmm. rather than just go to the drugstore and buy, exactly. buy a higher prescription glasses. Exactly, exactly. It's very important just to not let it go and think that the only thing that's being affected is the rest of your body. The eyes are extremely important. All right, hopefully we've raised awareness a little bit. Thanks, Dr. Wong, for Thank being you. here today.